Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about Square Inventory and specifically how it relates to your small business and how you can use it to help be more efficient in your small business. So I use it to track all of my makeup and skincare products that I sell, which you can imagine gets quite voluminous with all the different colors and shades and all of that. So I find that a lot of ladies that I speak to they don't know how to utilize it properly to get it to actually track their inventory numbers. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today and a couple different trick tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you just the kind of the basics of how to maneuver, get your items in there, um, and how this is beneficial to have them in there and it will help your invoicing like go tenfold. Not to mention that it's really nice to have all of your inventory in Square. It's loaded up in there. You can see when you're getting low on items. This does not take away the fact that you still need to be doing inventory at least once a month, or at least I do mine once a month. Um, and I just make sure everything matches to my square inventory numbers. However, you can go ahead um, and use this as a great tool so you know what you have in stock and what you're getting low on. So this is the main dashboard. This is not for my current business. This is one I had in the past, um, but this is your main dashboard and your inventory is going to be under items. So you're gonna wanna click on that and then all of your options for your inventory are going to be listed right here. So right now it's trying to give me suggestions for this previous business that I had. And you, this is where you're going to upload all of your stuff. So you can click here to create an item one by one. So let me just show you kind of what's underneath that. So all the information that you can import is also listed here, obviously. So you can go ahead and type them in one by one if you don't have a ton. Um, I know I run a makeup and skincare business. So with all the color variations that we have, there are like a thousand and one things to type in. So I imported my file, which I'll show you shortly. But you will put the name of the item here. So we'll just say um, blue red lip scents that's how I'm gonna label all my colors um, and then you can pick categories so once you have one set up okay so this one's trying to pick lip scents color for me so it's smart um, and then you can add a description if you want to say um, this is a cool blue a cool blue red a cool, and hence the name right um, a cool let's say a cool red lip color Okay. It's cool tone, so blue. Anyways, whatever. It's cool red lip, red lip color. So then you can, if you have multiple locations, I do not, so mine is just the one location. If you do have multiple locations, um, you can track the inventory by location there. And then also same thing, if you have units, you can fill that in. Um, mine is just per item. And then you'll stick the price and the stock. So this is important. So if you want Square to track your inventory, you have to come in here and then click um, tracking. So then you'll say every time like stock received, inventory recount, damage, theft, loss, blah, blah, blah. Most of the time you're going to be coming in here and clicking stock received so that you can add any new inventory that you've received. However, the one thing that stinks about Square is that when you need to adjust whether um, it's not necessarily loss, at least for my business, we do giveaways. And so I need to reduce my inventory and I don't have that option here. So um, that's just something to note. However, right now, as when I'm filming this, um, most of the time you're going to probably use stock received or inventory recount. So you want to make sure you have this tracking button clicked. So now I have, I imported all of my information already into my personal file. And now when new items are released, I enter them one by one. So when I do that, each time I have to make sure this is turned on. Another thing is if you want low stock alerts, you will click this as well and you'll tell it what it is. So maybe when you get down to five of whatever your product is, you want to be alerted. So when you're in your um, inventory section, it will actually turn it yellow if you're hitting your uh, alert number. So that way when you're scrolling through, you can quickly see that you're running low on that item. You can also set up to get emails and I'll show you that as well. Uh, so you'll have your price and then if you have a SKU number, we'll just say this is 5555 and then you'll click done. So what will end up happening, you'll just say done. So the SKU number came out here um, and we already have all this in here and then you can click save. The nice thing is, is once you have inventory tracking on, see how this is red, it means I don't have any in stock. But the nice thing is, is that now if I create an invoice, 
because I turned inventory tracking on, it's actually going to make me go negative, which is nice because a lot of times I will get pre-orders for items and I can see how many pre-orders I have by looking at this to see how negative that I went. So let's show you now how to import. Oh, look at this. It's smart because it knows it knows based on other people's businesses what else should go in here. So maybe let's just go ahead and click that. So if you say add item, then it's going to populate and you can come in here and fill out whatever else you need. So that's interesting. So depending on your business and Square is smart with their um, suggestions, you can do that. So let me show you though how now from this screen, because I already have items in here um, that you can do. So you can export your library. I've had to do that multiple times. You can do that if you have a massive um, inventory recount needed and then you want to re-import. So you're gonna fix, you can actually do that from here. And then this is where you're gonna to click to import your library. So there was that screen before when I didn't have any items in here. Let me see if I delete this item, if it will show me again. So let's click delete. All right, so now I don't have anything in here. You can download their template. I'm sure you could Google and also get their template, but you will click download template and it's going to bring up a blank template that you can fill in with your inventory stuff. I already have one populated and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and just import that. So you'll click import items and it's the square inventory and then it's going to pull up all of the categories that are in that section so you can see and make sure that it's filtering into the proper areas that you want so like i want my description and my category the SKU number everything is all in here and i have yeses saying that i want the stock enabled and my stock alert counts all in here and then let's see enabled and I don't know this has to do with how I have the other account in here so then you're going to click confirm up there and it's going to say you're going to overwrite but there's nothing in there so that's completely fine and then it will import for you and then all of your items are going to be there listed in your square inventory and you can go ahead and start invoicing so let's see all right so it pulled up all of the items now there wasn't on that file a location listed so it's going to come up no location let me just show you the file so you can see so this is one that's filled out and then this is a blank one so let me just open up both so you can see what it looks like and you know how to fill it in for yourself so this is the blank one and actually i'll just go through the blank one because i think that'll be more beneficial so you'll put your item name here the description if you want it to be in categories i have all of mine in categories so for um like lip colors i have all of those together eyeshadows are together glosses are together um all the skincare and everything they're all categorized so it makes it easier for me when i'm doing my inventory that i can go to that section and then run through all those items um, but you'll have to deal decide deal you'll have to decide what makes it most sense for your business i have my SKU number that i enter if there's a variation name i don't use this field so i think i'm not even really sure to give an example of what to put there um, your price and then you can have uh the quantity like the current quality quant the current quantity and your new quantity so remember when i said if you were doing like a massive overhaul and just recounting inventory you can go ahead and use these two and then your stock enabled um, alert so if you want those alerts and price blah 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 so that's basically that so the next thing i wanted to show you um, dealing with your items because this is all going to feed into my video on invoicing. So that way you can see how this will all work with your invoices. So another thing is if you collect sales tax, you are gonna be, we're still under items. You're gonna click taxes here and then you're gonna create your tax. So you'll name it whatever it is. So let's just say um, Sarasota, Florida sales tax and 7%. So now, and then you can choose whether you want to enable the tax or not. I have most of mine turned off because I am constantly having to charge multiple different um, sales tax amounts based on the different county for my, my sales tax returns that I need to fill out. So I have them turned off and then I go in and select which one. So if you only charge a tax, if you're like a brick and mortar or you only charge tax for one county, um, then you might want to leave it turned on. So we're going to go ahead and click save. And then I'm actually going to create a second tax. We'll say Tampa 
Florida sales. And I have no clue what their sales tax is. I'm just going to assume it's also 7%, but who knows? So <laughs> we'll just put those in. So you can list as many sales tax locations in here as you need to. I currently live in Illinois. I'm from Florida. That's why I was putting Florida ones in but I'm in Illinois. So I have multiple um, counties and cities that I collect sales tax to that I need to remit for those particular cities. So you'll have to tailor this, like I said, to your business as well. But another great thing that's under your items is discounts. So this is where you can come in and you can name it whatever you want, 15% off discount. So if you do a lot of similar discounts, you can have them saved in here so that way you can pull them up quickly on your invoices. So I don't want it to auto apply to inventory items um, and categories and I don't need a passcode for it, but if you have employees and that's something that you don't want to be that they can select, maybe that would be when you would not wanna have it um, automatic and on a passcode. So you can fill in as many of these as you want. And when we get to invoicing, I'm going to show you why that is really important um, to have them all in there and how it's going to make your life a little bit easier. So somewhere you'll see the link to that video. So if that's something you are interested in, make sure you hop on over there to see that video. All right. The last thing that I'm going to show you is where you can go to get um, your turn on your email notifications if you want to get stock alerts. So you will come to, let me just go back, um, account settings under your main tab. And then you're going to come over here to email notifications. And then there's all these different notifications that you can get. I usually get my daily sales summary, this one. But since we're just talking about inventory in this video, I'm going to scroll down here and you can click inventory alert. So you can receive a daily email of items that are lower out of stock. I have that turned off for my business um, because most of mine, are, I only carry one of certain colors. So it was getting annoying getting the emails all the time. But again, depending on your business, that might be beneficial for you having inventory alerts turned on. So I hope this was helpful, kind of a brief overview. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment box below. I'll be more than happy to help you um, with your square, answer any questions the best that I can. And if you're looking to open your square, make sure you click the link below because you'll get a thousand dollars free processing and so will I. And that's always nice to have, it's a free thousand dollars free processing. And if you have questions, like I said, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to help you the best I can. All right, so I hope that was helpful after you saw how to get everything done and kind of maneuver around back there for your Square inventory. Stay tuned for more videos related to Square so that it can help you streamline your business. Hopefully that was helpful at least on getting your inventory on track. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Then I will do my best to answer them. And if you want more content like this, be sure to follow me on my other social media platforms somewhere on the screen. And I hope to see you soon.